Good afternoon, Silver Tubers. Tazzy Stacker here with you on the uh, carving bench. Now, I made a, um, a deal with Mike GPO, and I'm just going to have a quick. Here you go. Do, 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 do. Now, I'm not going to show these in great detail. I'll leave, I'll leave that up to Mike to do, because but these are just the coins that I'm going to send him. So, let's see. There we go. There's a nice clear picture of that one. And there's a nice clear picture of that one. All right, so um, currently I am uh, carving a tiki. This is something I do quite a lot. Now this is a there's a couple this well, I usually use a couple different sets of tools here. So you have Japanese carving chisels which I use, and then I have a Dremel which I also use. And the Dremel does a lot of the donkey work. So a lot of the outline and the straight, you know, the squaring up of the figure and all that stuff is done with little Japanese chisels. And just let me pause this for a second to find some. And here we back again. So little Japanese chisels like this. See, these are little tiny chisels, but these things are razor sharp. They're like carving with razor blades, so they're it, they're pretty cool. So. I mean, this style of carving is called. This is like a, a base relief carving. So you draw your you draw your outline, you cut the outline into the timber, and then you uh, get rid of a lot of the timber around it, and then like you use a Dremel to sort of do a lot of the donkey work. So, for example, if I wanted to if I wanted to carve something like this, you can see where I've already done so you can see around there so you can do that with either something like a, a chisel like this which is like a it's like a scalpel okay and you can if you want to trace a line you can do it by hand and you can very carefully bring this down and start there you go a little bit around there, a little bit more. And then what you can do is you can use another chisel like this. And you come in on the side and you very carefully just remove some of the extra um, material. And once you get it to a certain, once you get it set to a certain way or a certain depth, you can then come in with a Dremel and you can actually, you know, excise all that material out of there. And it's best to, like, start the carving, you know, with some vague, like, on the, okay, so on this side, I've done this side a bit. And this side, I haven't touched it. So what you do is you, you settle on the shape that you want. Say this here. Say this, this eyebrow up here. There we go. And then once you finally settle on its location and its shape, then you can, <coughs> sorry, then you can um, trace it out with a scalpel and then start excising the material around it. But then when I got to do that, I will leave the drawing of this here. But if I'm not 100% happy with the location of this, I'll adjust this, this eye either up or down depending. You gotta remember, I gotta get a tool in between these two things, so there's gotta be enough space for a tool to be in there. So, don't, whatever you do, don't, uh, don't start out a carving, and then, you know, draw it all out and all that stuff, and then go ahead and outline the entire thing, because if there are any mistakes in that, you can't fix it now, because it, now it's set. So you just do it in parts. So you start by, you know, doing this part here, then getting that where you want it to be, and then make sure there's enough space in there for a tool, and then you do the next part, and then you do over here, uh, you do some more, and then go around, you know. <coughs> so anyway, that's just kind of what I'm up to at the moment. Um, I will be getting back into making boxes shortly. I just, I just need to ease myself back into it a bit. Um, anyway, that's just all I'm babbling about today, so uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below as usual, and I will talk to you guys all later. 
Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.